For the Rockies, Jose Ureña comes in at 0-1. Good ERA of 2.66 with two starts in that Rockies uniform. Woo. That's a good start. Wicked One, slider. two, three, and you're out. Ureña, who works to Ben Gamel. Here's the pitch. Looped over third and into left, a base hit for Ben. So Gamble on with a one-out single. Key Brian Hayes sporting a six-game hitting streak is coming up. Hayes and the pitch is tapped weakly on toward third. McMahon on the backhand gloves, throws to first, late, and Hayes has an infield hit. Gamble to second. Strike three on the inside corner at 97. Well done by Jose Arrania. Works out of a little situation in the first couple of strikeouts to boot. Pirates turned aside in the top half. Now Mitch Keller gets to pitch at Coors Field. Yeah, you know, I was looking through Mitch's numbers. Who He's just been pitching really good. Strike three. Connor Joe is a quick out. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Fastball at 96 at the top of the zone, and that ends the inning. Here's now Jake Marisnik. The one-two to him is... Strike three, he went around, he couldn't hold the swing that time on appeal. It was a one-two pitch. Swing and a miss, got him. Threw the sinker low and away and got him. With two strikeouts, the first inning follows with two in the second. Rockies and the Pirates in game two of their series. No score, Brendan Rodgers leads off. Here's a pitch and a ground ball base hit to right field. First pitch swinging, found the fastball he liked on the outside and promptly hit it to right field. There's the Rockies' first hit. There's the 0-2, swing and a miss, struck him out. A really good breaking ball. Two outs. Here's a 3-1 to Ben. Cracked out towards center. Hilliard started a cross on it. It goes over his head, hits off the top of the wall, gambles into second base, and he's got a double here with two outs in the third. Here's Chris Bryant. Chris worked out a walk in the first inning. This ball's lined to center field. It'll get down, and Chris Bryant just keeps on swinging the bat. You know, since his return, his OPS close to 1,000. A guy like Charlie Blackman. Oh, look how free and easy that 95 was from Keller blowing it past Blackman, upper part of the zone. Been able to get the ball in on lefties a good bit today. Keller has. Here's the 1-2. Curveball strike three call. McMahon knew it. Down on strikes and two men gone. Well, Keller for his first time pitching at Coors Field got five strikeouts, a couple of singles. That's been it. Yeah, I mean, that was a dandy there. We talked about it where he's kind of missed with some curveballs away to lefties. That one perfectly placed. Here's Tyler Heineman. One ball, one strike. There we have a base hit from Tyler Heineman. Just back he was a pinch hitter last night after leaving to be with his wife and he is back from the paternity leave and he has a one out single see what happens as the Rockies now for a third time through the order face Keller and Joe no uh, uh, nobody on ground ball hit up the middle into the shift Cruz has got it the shortstop and he threw it into the camera bay I mean, that was routine, and it happens. Whether you're a rookie or a veteran, sometimes you just lose a grip, lose focus, whatever it was, and Sutsugo had no chance. Just a routine play. Gobbled that one up, and just, they just airballed first. He's got a gun for an arm. I mean, he throws upper 90s across the diamond there. He just let up, and the ball went over the first baseman's head by about five feet. It ends up because it went into the dugout camera bay area being a two base error. So Chris Bryant now with a chance to get the Rockies on the scoreboard first against Keller. And he locks one to left center and that will cost the Pirates. Here comes Joe with the first run of the game. Chris Bryant coming through. He has always tormented the Pirates among a lot of teams. What nothing Rockies. You get a hanging curveball, and Chris pulls that one into left center field. Easy run there for the Rockies after you think it was going to be a 1 2 3 inning. So a two out free pass brings up Cruz here in the sixth inning. Line drive to right field, and this is going to be over the head 
of the right fielder Connor Joe, but Daniel Vogelback is running and he'll be held at third. And O'Neill Cruz singles off the wall in right. Brian Serbin, the hitter now. Brian's not trying to stop a 0 for 13 string at the plate. Ball four, so a one out walk to Serbin. To left. Oh, and Gamble decides to leave his feet and thankfully was able to make the catch. Initially, it looked like he was going to be able to kind of take care of this no problem, and he picked up his pace about five, six steps in. <laughs> I'm glad because I think he thought it really the ball held up for him maybe yeah. longer than he thought it almost. Could you imagine? Chris Bryant has had a perfect day at the plate. Walk, single, single. The latter single drove in the only run of this game. And another base hit for Bryant. Servant will get to third. And Chris is three for three and a walk. And that'll bring up Charlie Blackman. And this will get the job done. Charlie Blackman. Chris Bryant, he's headed to third. Two nothing, Colorado. Now a 17 game hit streak for Charlie at Coors Field. Daniel Bard will be looking for save number 20 on the year and he has one of the best save percentages in the game he's 19 out of 21. strike three ball game over daniel bard with his 20th save of the year and for the first time in 2022 the rockies have won five consecutive ball games rockies have produced their third shutout of the season second at home remember chad cool through that beautiful shutout against the uh, Dodgers a couple of weeks ago in Colorado beat to uh, L.A. Four to nothing. They also have a shutout on the road in Minnesota. Rockies win it two to nothing as they continue to gain ground on 500.